What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about SoFi. I want to go over some expectations for this upcoming week, what might cause volatility in the stock price, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off this upcoming week, I'm pretty sure you guys already know that the market is closed today. But if you don't, surprise, surprise, um, happy Labor Day to all the Americans out there on a side note. Starting off on Tuesday, though, you do have manufacturing data. So I'm going to talk on that in a second, but that one is going to be more of a touchy one. Wednesday is going to be more kind of technical driven as well as just people still talking about manufacturing as well as the next two days. So Thursday and Friday is going to be consumer linked data. So you have initial job as claims, ADP, ADP non-farm employment, as well as payroll. So all of that is going to be once again correlated with rate cuts. That seems to be the only thing that the market cares about and is almost brought up every single day by at least one analyst. And I feel like the latest thing that now analysts are saying is that even if rates do occur, rate cuts do occur, it won't really benefit the market as what a lot of people are kind of forecasting. So I, I think it's just all over the place. But beside the point, as I stated in the past, no matter what data comes out from now until September 18th, I think at the very bare minimum, we are going to have a 25 basis point cut. If the data starts coming in kind of worse for wear, then you might see a 50 on the table, but that would be more so to prevent a recession, which wouldn't be the best. But going back over here, so uh, manufacturing data coming out on Tuesday is going to be a touchy one because the forecast is 47.5. In theory, anything lower than 50 shows more of a contraction occurring in the broader market. Market doesn't like that. Last two reports caused uh, a lot of volatility and not in a good way. But if it does come in line with that forecast or a little bit higher, I think like the market might relax somewhat. But again, flip side, if it does come in lower, then yeah, it might panic and people might start chatting once again about a recession. And then you might see this go up the 50 basis point cut. As of right now, though, the fear and greed index is under the greed category meaning people's appetite for risk is on the table. Specific to SoFi, there isn't really anything at all coming out for this week. You do have the following Monday. So on the 9th, um, Anthony Noto is going to be uh, having his little chat at the Goldman Sachs Tech Conference. So everyone and their dog in the in tech sector is kind of going to be talking and having their 15 minutes. I think they each have 15 to 20 minutes or whatever else. But this is going to be a good opportunity for Anthony to really pivot and really focus on tech, make the whole Wall Street aware that SoFi is not a bank. And that obviously, I think that's what kind of occurred during the recent earnings. But beside the point, aside from that, though, it's kind of that's it. Uh, not really much else going on. It's just macro events. One thing, even when I was searching on social media, just for chatter on what people are talking on, I saw Felix and I don't subscribe to him. I know he covers SoFi because the algorithm knows I like SoFi. It kind of shows his videos all the time, but he did say why I'm selling all my SoFi stock and why you should too. Spoiler alert, he's kind of just going long on call options. And I do bring that up time and time again, because even if you look, for instance, on the June 18th, 2026 expiry date, the volatility is mind blowingly low. And the market, I think bigger picture is somewhat bearish on SoFi because you can kind of see the Delta. So the Delta is kind of the likelihood of that being in the money by the expiry date you can kind of see that it's forecasted to be between that 5 to $7 range by 2026. So that is crazy. So the market is not really seeing much upside for SoFi. So if you are very bullish, then yeah, options might be the best bang for your buck. And if you do buy call options, you, are, you could make tenfold. This is why some people are just dedicated options traders. But as I've stated in the past, I did a quick tutorial there is a very fine line between doing options and gambling because you are essentially trying to forecast in the future where a stock is going to be price point wise by a certain expiry date or by a certain date. So yeah, highly recommend you guys just getting your feet wet, maybe lose $15, $20 just as a tutorial just to learn from and then uh, you can kind of make some trades accordingly. But yeah, no, I, I do agree with Felix that if you are very bullish on SoFi, like with the volatility very low, like it's cheap 
right now. So something to kind of consider with a lot of that data points coming out this week, all of which kind of touchy in their own way, you are going to see shorts relatively active. So right now, 17.53% of the free flow is being shorted works out to be 183.55 million shares overall are being shorted. And you can kind of see shorts have been returning a little bit ever since the uh, recent high on the 26th of 1805. It doesn't show any information right now because it somehow thinks that the market is open and all that stuff. But just to put it in perspective, IBKR is charging 0.3. And so IBKR isn't one of those brokers that is physically paying people to short SoFi as I brought up in the past. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. Regrettably, SoFi did close on Friday at $7.99. So you kind of saw another sign of manipulation as usual. So what that means is that anything below that $8, uh, sorry, uh, everything above that $8 and is going to expire worthless. So 27,000 at the eight, 23,000 at the 850, but 750 and seven and whatever else below that is going to be kind of in the money and so meaning market makers are going to go to the open market to buy roughly around 3 million shares so that should give a nice bump up in the stock price whether it sticks or not that's anyone's guess and most likely is going to be dependent on that manufacturing data looking forward to this week though so you do see already a lot of walls 30,000 at that 8 34,000 at that 850 so so far typically does struggle uh, struggle with these uh, large walls and plus manipulation usually does follow suit uh, around those kind of uh, strike prices as well. So anticipate a lot of volatility this week. So again, just kind of stay tuned for that. Um, if SoFi does come out swinging hard and with good data, then yeah, I could definitely see it maybe touching kind of between that 8 to 850 range, but still it is going to also rely on the technicals. So to pull up SoFi for a second, so like I said, with it closing at $7.99, it is trading between these two points. So pretty much this R1 and R2. So 798 is going to be that next strong or kind of the strong support that you'll want to watch for SoFi to really hold. Flip side, $8.43. So in theory, Assuming the manufacturing data comes out good tomorrow, you could see it kind of trading within this range. But like I said, you also do have that wall at eight and also 850. So that might be kind of pushing it down slightly. On the actual chart itself, still above a lot of the key pivotal moving averages, still in the higher percentile of the boiling band. Stochastic, you do see it still overbought. So the first sign of weakness, whether it be specific to SoFi or the broader market, you could see kind of a, a vicious pullback as what I've brought up in the past. And SoFi actually does follow this almost to a T. So the first time there is something negative about the broader market, SoFi does get dragged down a good about 15 to 20%, something like that. So yeah, it's going to be a fun, fun week in my opinion. So a lot of key data is going to be coming out. And yeah, hopefully SoFi does continue and comes out strong and really propels it higher. But based on the options, the options is anticipating more of a pullback this week. So let me know your thoughts on all of that. Hopefully everyone's having a good weekend ahead of them. Is there any other attributing factors that you feel is going to really affect SoFi this week? And are you a buyer? Are you a seller? What have you been doing with SoFi? And are you, for instance, like Felix, are you guys doing very long term calls? Because yeah, if you are very bullish on SoFi, the volatility, like it is cheap, cheap um, to buy products right now. Um, so again, something to kind of consider. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.